Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel, Air Shaw Graphics. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit that red and green button in the lower right hand corner. Working with the custom license plates. Uh, before, I just did this with the, done this with the vinyl cutter. So now my plates, they finally arrived. I got like about 20 of these. So I'm getting ready to start on my first one. So the first thing I need to do, I need to put transfer tape over this. That way I can transfer this design onto this plate. So I'm gonna go ahead, just give me a few seconds. I'm gonna grab this transfer tape right quick. You gotta be real careful with this transfer tape. Sometimes the backs like to stick together. Lay this right over my design just like that. You don't press on it nothing until I get this. And then start in the middle and just squeegee my way outward just like that. Some extra tape kind of way. It's all good. All right. Piece of tape kind of way. I got to trim all this extra tape away. Notice I'm using the razor blades. The razor blades is a little bit more sharper than my usual tool. I usually use this. Let's see. Then I usually keep one in overlap just like that, and I probably just fold it. Maybe do a little fold like that. That way I, I can have something to hold on to. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to peel the backing off. Oh, before I do that, almost did wrong there. I was supposed to put it over the plate first, then peel the backing off. So what I gotta do now, make sure it's centered. And I pretty much can see through the transfer tape when I hold it up to the light just like that. And once I have it in position, then I can carefully just place it down just like that. And 
I'm gonna take my masking tape. And I'll put it about right here. Just like that. All right, then I go ahead and peel the backing off. So when I peel the backing off, I gotta do it this way. Once I do that, I'm going to take my scissors and I can just trim this off just like this. Now I can squeeze it onto the plate. Just like this. Now all I got to do now is take this tape off. Just like that. Then peel the backing on this side off. Then squeegee the rest on. Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. All right. Now the last part. Gotta peel the transfer tape off. Every once in a while, you might see one little small air bubble. So I will have to take my razor. Just poke it a few times. I do have some of the edges showing a little bit, so I can easily just uh, trim that up.
that's pretty much it right there. Just gotta trim the holes in. Let me see if I can trim the holes in. By the way, I was supposed to have a, a cutting mat, but I haven't got my cutting mat yet. That's why I want to scratch up my countertop too much, or whatever table I'm working on. Two more holes to do it and that'll be it. That's it. Welcome back to my channel. If you like it, go ahead and hit that red and green button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And thanks for watching. Airshaw Graphics. All right, now.